Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today it is will uh, will perform the night flight um, basically um, uh, regarding to the uh, charter flights. Uh, uh, there most of the charter flights are during the night conditions so um, and today uh, we are performing unusual flight completely but anyway but no not so unusual but from unusual airport for charter flights uh, into usual destination for the charter flights okay so uh, we have uh, sky travel okay livery and uh, <coughs> as you can see we are servicing uh, right now the potable water and uh, waste compartment um, and it will be nighttime operations so um, basically there will be nothing special just uh, just uh, I will go briefly <coughs> and uh, yeah the crew are ready uh, we can jump on the board and uh, start perform our flight and uh, maybe I will stop the video for a while uh, because uh, uh, my lunch is coming uh, so I don't know where it is where it is so <laughs> we will see uh, okay anyway so jump into the cockpit and uh, regarding we have battery 24 percent uh, as we are on the Vienna airport uh, we have some unusuality uh, in Wien airport and this unusuality is um, uh, it's nighttime restrictions okay so we've got a different departure than uh, it is uh, basically done but by the sim brief operational flight plan but anyway this is this is the uh, this is for another discussion. Uh, if you would like to start from the GPU, first of all, check your DC metering panel, the voltage and frequency, and then wipers are parked, okay? Uh, because it's unpleasant when your wipers are working, okay? So, especially the right one, uh, because it's related to the DC power, okay? So, you can put the GPU on bus, okay? We can put the logo lights, we can put the wing lights, we can put the uh, wheel well lights uh, for performing the uh, the wall ground, we can set the parking brakes for for captain, for Mr. Captain okay, so parking brake is set now we can perform the fire tests and uh, yeah That's perfect. We hear the fire warning system. That's okay. The bottles are okay. And as well, uh, the cargo fire compartment. Uh, uh, leading edge li lights are okay. Now put the RSs to the on position. Uh, crew oxygen sufficient. Service interphone off. Uh, Okay, fire warnings are okay, and this one is after four minutes, so we will forget about to check it. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so circuit breakers, uh, gear pin covers, uh, gear gravity door extension close, uh, emergency equipment, documentation, everything is on board, so uh, we can uh, jump into it and mix some pre-flight preparation so uh, in this case uh, yeah we can uh, release the services uh, airplane seems to be uh, fully okay uh, from our flight dispatching uh, there was no message into the operational flight plan that there is something in the mail CDL so um, that's basically okay so uh, go to the flight plan and uh, yeah, we have to check it. So, landing weight, <laughs> estimated landing weight. Okay, we have enough room space. Take off weight with no discussion. Perfect, flight level 370, cost index 17, so will be, uh, it's somewhere in the middle, okay, uh, that's okay. Uh, Dubrovnik, we have contingency 5 minutes overhead Dubrovnik uh, via ASA Ops field flight planning 
and we have block fill of 6,300 and, uh, 6, and uh, uh, from the 13 October of 2022 uh, uh, it will be valid uh, the new procedures uh, which uh, uh, you have applied uh, so-called uh, fuel energy procedure and APU will be a part of the uh, of the flight plan okay so i will make another video for this one when i study it and what when it will be completed because now it's it's uh it's uh, one big mess okay so but anyway uh to browning what is the alternate okay belgrad that's fine so seven tons in case of taxi and unpredictable wind shear conditions uh during the the sea breeze uh, in uh, in Dubrovnik it's called in the other one it's called Yugo okay but basically it's selling a visibility okay and no wind it's absolutely perfect um, according my opinion uh, well we are on the Vatsim 7 ton it's pretty sure uh, enough so we'll request the field track and uh, we put there seven tons. Okay, so, uh, so the first one, uh, what we will do, uh, the first officer job, uh, check the ATS information in Vienna. Uh, we have information, Schwechal uh, information, uh, Enki from 1812 Zulu that's okay runway 16 for departure uh, sorry uh, arrival and runway 29 for departure so runway 29 and departs from departure they don't like runway 29 and 1 especially then in Wien then they are uh, really unhappy with uh, for example runway 11 for arrival but and runway 200 especially it's noise limiting uh, runway for departure so uh, we will be very careful okay so in this case uh, and there's something stated about noise abatement in Atis <coughs> okay seats are not but uh, yes that's okay QNH 1020 uh, okay so 1020 one zero two zero so basically that's it okay so you've got the ATS information as well uh, so let's start uh, with the yod pair on transfer switches that's okay uh, put the pressurize and cabin utility that's okay uh, we are going to make a refueling so that's okay a few pumps leave it off until pushback and now it's more or less okay. Uh, we have flight level 370. So flight level 37, 370. That's okay. And I, I don't know Dubrovnik landing altitude. It should be somewhere, but I'm too lazy to check it. Okay. Ignitions on the right side. That's okay. Uh, AFIS panel uh, should be set up by copilot. Uh, Oxygen tested 100%. Auto brakes to RTO, reset the fuel flow on lower DU, engine instruments. That's quite okay. Um, right now, I will put uh, no, um, no frequency uh, because we will be busy uh, later on. So, and I don't want to disturb somebody. Okay, so. St so Press PA, cabin carry filling in progress, just fly the interphone to have the an external connection with the refueling guy uh, in case of fire. Okay, so that's okay. That's quite perfect. And now we can make the captain procedure. So, all crown complete, airplane is okay. Uh, we can check the light test, everything is okay. Same PMDG bug as I saw before. Okay. That's quite okay. Uh, and uh, now we can fill the FMC. So we are at Wien Airport. And we have the gate hotel. It is hotel. 
Hotel 43, ok? Hotel 43. So, uh, Hotel 43. Perfect. Checked with the last position, uh, that's absolutely super. So, gate uh, Hotel 43, uh, GPS coordinates is ok. I uh, always need to check with the GPS and charts, but uh, yeah, well. We are on Lacim, not in real life. Uh, so win and Dubrovnik. Uh, yeah, that's it. Fine. Next page. We have Stein departure. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, now it will be a little bit tricky uh, because uh, it could be Stein three Charlie, but. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, what exact procedure they have. If you're watching my stream, uh, uh, be aware of the fact that the this one, what we put here, is going here, and from here it's going to air traffic controller. So, if we have wrong flight number, that means that uh, they can see you on the radar. Uh, with the, with the wrong, uh, uh, it's it's a little bit um, <laughs> um, misunderstanding because it is not flight number, it is call sign. You always put the call sign. Uh, please do not mess and do not put the flight number. Always put the call sign right over here. Okay, so now come back uh, as I said before. Uh, cost index fifteen, flight level three seven zero. Uh, that we have in Win, uh, we have a new standard uh, uh, transition altitude, which is 10,000 feet. I guess so. Uh, I'll need to look at the chart. Uh, uh, it was 5,000, but now it is. Uh, I, I think I think it is 10,000 feet. Uh, so uh, okay, I will need to make a designator. Okay, <laughs> Stein. Uh, 10-3 Tango 3, ok. Tango 3, that's... No? Uh, oh, sorry, I put the Vic Victor, it's Tango. 10-3 uh, Tango 3, uh, this is Stein, ok. Um, so, ok, basically... Uh, oh, what's here? Initial 5000, uh, that will be okay, it will be later on. Uh, do not mess the procedures. Transition 10,000, yes, I was I was right, I was right. Okay, so 230, 234, uh, 0 to 7. So 234 slash uh, 47. Uh, this is okay, and uh, what is the next? Uh, plus three ISO deviation. Uh, I have never seen the performance initial initialization page like this one in any airplane I flew on real life. So basically, uh, mm, this is new for me. Okay, uh, here is missing one column. Okay, uh, uh, but this is uh, 234 slash. 27. I need to make a correction um, to myself. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, plus 3. Uh, this okay. And reserve we have 3 into the Belgrade. Okay. So exactly 3 tons. That's absolutely perfect. Uh, we are. I'm really happy with this situation. And uh, refuel cabin crew. YPA refueling is completed. Put it right back, and, and now uh, what we can do? Uh, it's uh, to fasten seat belts, okay, and uh, we can go as uh, services, and now we can uh, release the fuel trucks, and uh, ask for loaders. And uh, basically, we'll be ready for uh, 
for startup uh, oh, sorry for uh, boarding uh, so uh, yeah we have 160 passengers on board and uh, checked baggage it's uh, 3.2 ton so 160 packs on board and uh, 3.2 how you will distribute it okay 1000 and 2200 okay uh, we should be okay with the, uh, with the low cheat envelope uh, in this case I guess so okay uh, anyway uh, if we are start boarding and we are no refu making refueling now uh, we apply the nighttime restriction of the APU and uh, put uh, the APU like this one and just check the voltage when APU will, will be available this light should be coming off because walk around was always uh, performed uh, we have 1012 and the uh, engine out acceleration altitude is 800 plus airport elevation is 1400 okay so uh, we put it right here uh, if somebody is watching this video and uh, it's asking why I'm not using Elna Vina from the ground um, mm, Elna from the ground is basically okay I have nothing uh, against uh, to this procedure but uh, we now is a little bit more complicated to explain uh, why on Boeing 737 uh, it's not good idea to use a Vina from the ground as many people are doing okay uh, yeah on flight simulator you can do okay basically but uh, in uh, in uh, in real life it's not good idea uh, two niner another one I can see it. okay and now we have to be precise into 1000 we have to make a turn because all these points I will zoom it it's noise monitoring points okay so uh, in this case uh, Yeah, you ha you have to uh, you have to be precise, okay? Exactly 1,000 and coming to the left. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, we earn, earn the money, okay? <laughs> uh, okay, so we can make start the boarding. Uh, we can start the baggage. That's okay. And uh, and this is the Arnold departure, okay? So basically, uh, uh, what is our MCP setting right now uh, because uh, runway 16 is in use so that means that put 16 okay in case of relanding and uh, uh, we can put 159 uh, as uh, the course of the iOS in case we have serious troubles okay and uh, just to remind you uh, if you are in serious troubles um, they are always um, very pleasant to you and uh, if you don't accept this runway and another runway is open and is serviceable and it's a better solution for you you can use another runway you can ask for another because you have made a code and they have to accept it so uh, but anyway okay so this is fine let's go with the scan flow procedure uh, those guys who don't know what is the scan flow procedure check my videos everything is there uh, 108.5 that's else frequency 8.5 108 uh, and uh, VOR uh, in case of misapproach 110.4 the single four and I think that uh, fisherman VOR uh, will be a part of a uh, part of uh, engine out SID I I think so okay so now we are completed uh, we have to perform the uh, pre-flight checklist and once the pre-flight checklist is done uh, we have to wait and uh, um, in the meanwhile, I can broke the procedures and I can ask on the ground 
uh, for the for the clearance so once again check the 80s uh, it's still Yankee, that's okay, that's perfect, okay, so we have wind delivery of 1 to 2 decimal 1 to 5 1 to 2, 1 to 5 We can check the SIDs around with designator. Uh, we will see which one we've got. Okay. Our wind delivery service, uh, Sky Travel 101 uh, with the information in queue on board QNH 1020. Stand Hotel 43 request uh, clearance uh, destination Dubrovnik. To five, nobody's responding. To two, one to five, okay. So settings, uh, yeah, I need to check it uh, on my computer. Uh, that's okay. Audio speakers, we have. Mic volume. Okay, push the talk. It's okay. I don't know where is the problem. I am not transmitting. When I am pressing uh the push to talk button so I will stop it right now and we will see later on uh, what's 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 the problem okay so uh, I somehow uh, resolved the situation with my audio corex so now wind delivery should be okay with us So we will ask for the clearance, uh, but anyway, I will check that I'm not standing in anybody. Okay, that's okay. So, I think I for clearance to also. Lot 224, we are servicing to Lewis Clear to Warsaw, where the letter 3, Charlie departure, runway 299, ignition climb 5000 feet, scope 4606. Clear to Warsaw, local to Charlie, around 99, let's go 4606, lot 24. Lot 224, confirm engine is 5000 feet. Uh, 5000 feet, lot 224. Lot 224, repeat is correct, QNH 1021. QNH 1021, uh, lot 224. Hostel 501 is ready for push and start. Austrian 501, contact Finca 1121 decimal 6, heaven is flight service. 121 decimal 6, Austrian 501, thank you, and tell us to know. Wien de Lurie, hallo nochmal, Lufthansa 17, Papa, Gate, Fox 03, information to Lurie, request clearance, Team Munich. Okay, so there are plenty of the airplanes, so we will see if we. Are able to get into the frequency by the time being. Okay, your route is invalid. Yeah, we can make it with the climb I like this one. It's no problem basically, but in order to have the better climb gradient, I will use the lower flap settings. Uh, that's okay. And uh, our wind delivery service, uh, Sky Travel One Zero One, Zulu on board One Zero Two One. Uh, request clearance to Dubrovnik. Uh, 
Slide Travel 101, Wind Delivery Servus, Information Zulu ist korrekt. Clear to Dubrovnik, weil der Stein 3 Charlie Departure Out of Runway 299, Initial Climb 5000 Feet, Squawk 1515. Akkurat zu Destination Dubrovnik, Out of Runway 299, Stein 3 Charlie Departure, Initial 5000 Feet, and Squawking 1515, Sky Travel 101. Sky Travel 101, Read this, correct, Unit 1021. A from QNH 1021, uh, Skytrail 101. Okay, so QNH is a little bit different in one hectopascal. Uh, 15, 1. Austrian 5, Mike, say again. Austrian 5, Mike, five ready to push perfect, 5000 feet we have. And uh, what else we also need? Uh, contact wing out for one, two, one, better six, competition, seven, seven, just one, check two, the one, wind conditions. Uh, uh, three zero zero ten knots. Okay, so let's go in here and three zero zero ten knots. It's basically okay. Uh, now we are pretty fine. We can perform some bri briefing, but I will not do so. Uh, Oh, where am I going? Uh, take of safety speed is 152, okay, so... Uh, Vienna Delivery, Cal Air 989 with you, General Aviation, we've uh, just filed IFR to Friedrichshaven. Perfect, and as you can see, we are right here over the stands, so I guess uh, uh, we'll get a uh, whiskey. Uh, and from Alpha 3 intersection by, I'm pretty sure that uh, with the distance, I think we can make it to it. Last station calling again. Not any problems, so that's it. Uh, Cal Air 989 with you, General Aviation. X so filed IFR to okay. Echo Delta, November Yankee. Uh, in our case, uh, services chokes on. Gotcha, Nina 889, we deliver service information. Zulu is current. Uh, before Clear to free procedure, uh, that's okay. So we'll one child departure out of uh, 29. Uh, uh, I will tell you one thing, uh, this is the bug of the PMDG, because if your hydraulic system A pumps uh, off, a uh, you are not okay. able to move the pushback, uh, but uh, in real life we are making uh, the hydraulic system A to off because S6. of the fluctuation of the system, okay? So uh, that's basically it. Nine, eight, nine. Okay, so departure uh, so will one Charlie and is five thousand feet. Release uh, this one uh, chokes as well because brake accumulator is okay, so it's perfect. Departure uh, so will one Charlie for counter eight nine. Basically, yeah, it's okay. Uh, what we need is walking one thousand for counter nine. It's pushback, and uh, it will be. Uh, John nine eight nine. I repeat, it's correct. Here is one zero two. And standard L and nose to the right, ninety degrees. That's okay, and uh, now everything is okay. Ah, uh, we can connect the push Lot back to the car. Contact wing ground on one to one. This means seven seven five. Have a nice flight, servus. We contact uh, ground on one to one. This means six. Uh, thanks, bye bye. Lot to the car. So we'll check the frequency of the wind ground. It's uh, one to one six or seven seven five. Seven one seven. Papa, we need you. Servus. Received your flight and it's valid. Okay, so this we can close. Lufthansa 17 Papa, are you ready to copy clearance? We don't need it. We're ready to copy Lufthansa uh, Papa. Before you ask the pushback, you always have to squat on Charlie, okay? Invited, so we'll one Charlie and depart, this is the connection with the pushback card. Okay. Lufthansa 17 Papa is cleared to Munich by the Zubil 1 Charlie departure, climb 5000 feet, score 1000. And what is important, uh, we have a uh, Stein uh, 3 Charlie departure, and as you can see right here, uh, this is Sovil, uh, this is a uh, Stein 3 Charlie, uh, so once again check it, if we have 
Stein to Charlie. Was Gen 6 Alpha Tango in for Sulu request Alpha to and it's Stein to Watch Charlie, that's Alpha okay. Uh, so, uh, to Graz, where they route to Charlie departure at the front with 2 Niner. Mission climb 5000 feet, score 1000. Contact Win Radar uh, when to advised Charlie, by the tower. Okay, that's perfect. So, that's important to know it. Ocean 6 Alpha Tango, because sometimes there is automatic uh, air switching to frequencies. Ocean 6 Alpha Tango, contact Wing Ground on 1 to 1 with 6 7 as flight, Servus. Sky Travel 101 on Hotel 43, fully ready. Sky Travel 101, contact Wing Ground on 1 to 1 with 6 Servus. 1 to 1 6 Servus, uh, Sky Travel 101. So, okay. Uh, he doesn't specify uh, which one uh, will be. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> yeah. Uh, right now, uh, seven echo in delivery service information Zulu is correct. Clear to Hamburg where the Medix one Charlie departure out of front with two Niner. You should climb 5,000 feet, score 1,000. 1 to 1 decimal 6. I am always doing uh, in real life, but I will set the frequency and set another frequency, okay? So, so always be prepared for another frequency, okay? So, uh, in this case, I need to switch because on this, uh, this radio, um, like not in real life, because uh, otherwise I am not, not transmitting. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, we have the tower frequency, wind tower. Oh. Austrian 8, 0 November, give way to the company 8, the 20 joining Lima from Echo. Okay. <sighs> Austrian 8, 0 November will give uh, way for the emergency joint. Austrian 5, 0 1, contact tower 119, that's my fortress. 119, that's my Austrian 5, 0 1. Wind ground, Cerus, uh, Shannon Hub and uh, Skytro 101, Hotel 43, ready for push and start. Skytravel uh, 101, push and start approved, orange line. Push and start approved, orange line, Skytro 101. Ok, so, now we've got a clearance, so we can put the anti-collision lights on, uh, make flight deck door close, lock, and uh, we can start. Five, Mike, taxi holding point two nine. Via whisky, Mike, you need one zero two one. Uh, where is the switch? Taxi holding point runway two nine. Via whisky, Mike, uh, you need one zero two one. Austrian five, Mike. Okay, I don't hear the guy with the pushback. Oh, but okay, so I will release parking brake. I hear something, but basically nothing. Okay, starting engine number two. Okay, I'm happy. We got Austrian 6 Alpha Tango is uh, ready for taxi. Austrian 6 Alpha Tango behind uh, the Austrian A320. I taxi guess it was some left traffic to behind right. us. Taxi point two niner via Mike ah, he's one, out seven. of the way. Uh, okay, so... Point point two niner via Mike uh, behind uh, the Austrian. Austrian I, will, I will stop like here now because he should turn. And he's going straight ahead uh, because uh, he will start turn Austrian eight zero a little remember, bit later. Around so one one seven I will seven stop. Five, it. Okay, uh, it's non standard Ground situation. One one, uh, okay. Seven seven five, Austrian so. Uh, I will stop it and I will leave it like it is now and we will make a 90 degrees turn uh, anyway uh, because uh, this uh, this uh, pushback uh, tool from flight sim to is perfect but it somehow broke my sim so uh, that's the reason ok so uh, engine number one I can make it via isolated pack procedure but anyway it's ok uh. So what do we need to check? Uh, exactly 25 or max motoring. Five, Mike. Give way to the company. Check if and one is rotating 
and Give to Israel taking or pressurizing, the side, but the most important is the EGT. Always check your EGT. If it is slowly, you have a wet start. If it is coming too fast, it is all start. Okay. Well, we're 9.42, cheers, uh, strength 5 Mike. Okay, and start will cut out when okay, this light will uh, go off. Okay, start will cut off. Uh, that's okay, so uh, he may disconnect. Uh, uh, lot 24, ground 1 to 1775. Uh, I guess he's disconnected. No, he's not disconnected. Okay. Good evening, Lufthansa 7 Echo. So would you like this uh, one? Ready for start, uh, for pushback. Parking brake set. Okay. You may disconnect and now I will check the generators. Lufthansa 7 Echo. Okay. Lufthansa 7 Echo. Lufthansa 7 Echo. Lufthansa 7 Echo. Push and start approved. Blue line. Push and start approved. Blue line. Lufthansa 7 Echo. We see the split. We see the split. Okay. So isolation valve is working. That's fine. That's perfect. Uh, okay. So, anyway, uh, let's jump to this all over the U page and uh, make it flips one and perform the ailerons checked, elevator checked, rudder checked. <sighs> so, APU switch off. Blank the lower display you need, and we have flaps up, no light, press recall if there is any malfunction, and push the lights, and yeah, we, we are ready to taxi, okay, so that's perfect, okay, so anyway, uh, but in win I will expect uh, from intersection alpha 3, uh, but it's a long runway. Uh, wind ground uh, Skytro 101, uh, request taxi. Skytro 101, taxi to holding point in Anna, YV skin Mike UNH 1021. Taxi holding point of runway 29, YV skin Mike UNH 1021, uh, Skytro 101. So, uh, this is uh, a little bit unusual clearance, I guess so. Uh, we have to check it uh, with this chart, uh, which is whiskey. And uh, yeah, okay, so <laughs> that's okay. Uh, Mike is this one, uh, so he doesn't specify it, uh, which intersection, okay, to holding point. So that means that uh, we have to join the taxi with Mike, uh, which is basically um, the second one, okay. So the second one, and with the second one to, to alpha one, okay. So basically that's it, okay. And uh, we'll see what will be the tower frequency, okay. Oh, later on. Okay, whiskey mic. So, left side clear, right side clear. Uh, so, early sparking brakes. Uh, in real life, uh, once the taxi routing is confirmed, uh, then you mm, put the lights on, okay. Well, this is the flight simulator, I don't care about it, basically. And uh, as we have cabin angle is secured, uh, we should have weather radar uh, operative because it's night, night time. Uh, without weather radar there is no go, but <coughs> we are able to go. Okay, so, okay. Uh, I will leave the dome lights if you don't, if you, if you are, mm, if you don't mind. Servus Lufthansa 17 Papa, holding short whiskey. Lufthansa 17 Papa, B ground, hello, continue via whiskey and mic, holding point to 9, QNH 102. Oh no, you are not holding short the whiskey. Continue via whiskey and mic, QNH 1021, Lufthansa 17 Papa. I've got the clearance first, man, and you are not in front of whiskey, takes you away. Anyway. Uh, the ground should tell him that uh, behind me uh, clear via whiskey and mic, so uh, it was incorrect. 
Lufthansa Bonn 7 Papa, Contact Tower, 109 Fortschuss. 109 Point Four, Lufthansa Bonn 7 Papa. Okay, so this is the whiskey. Uh, in the wind, it's sometimes uh, really hard to understand uh, which one is whiskey. Okay, so this is whiskey, and um, yeah. This is the whiskey, and uh, whiskey is going like this one. Okay, so uh, mm, it's sometimes uh, hard to know uh, wh when to taxi. Okay, uh, but anyway, taxiway whiskey is for all visibility procedures. So, uh, so if you follow the green lines, you are basically okay. So as you can see, we are on the whiskey. Okay, so checklist, flaps one, stabilizer trim set. Okay, ready, ready to go. And now we have to be careful uh, with the taxi and do not mess uh, with uh, Lima and Mike, okay? Uh, because there are uh, opposite, okay. Okay, I, I need to switch the tower. Huh? <coughs> yeah, we are three of the departure, so that's why. Uh, should give me an intersection and go with the sequence uh, because this is blocking uh, taxiway mic, but uh, okay. Uh, good evening, Vera Ground. This is Kenda 1123. Uh, request an Alpha clearance to London Gatwick. Okay, and now we should have. Uh, we have 1123 contact delivery. One, two, Alpha two, one, one, two, five. one, okay. That's perfect. 122125. Two, one, Kenda 1123. This is Alpha 2, so... Lufthansa 7 Echo, ready for taxi. Alpha 1, Lufthansa 7 Echo, taxi one. via Whiskey and Mike, holding point to 9, okay, NH1021. Uh, whiskey and Mike, holding point to 9, now 1021, uh, Lufthansa 7 Echo. Sky Travel 101 on frequency. Yes, go ahead, sir. Sky Travel 101, contact tower 119 of watches. 119 on decimal 4, choose uh, Sky Travel 101. Okay, so we've got a tower frequency, but we need to a little bit to hold on. Ground, yeah. Shenab and Lausanne, the correction, Austrian 710 Papa, bravo, eh? Austrian 710 Papa, V ground to low, contact with Delta and Lima, hold short Lima 2. Delta Lima, hold short Lima 2. Our wind tower service, uh, Skytrail 101, uh, hold short of uh, runway 2 and Alpha 1. Lufthansa 17 Papa, da bin ich kaum noch an, wir tun einer Clear Takeoff. Und wir tun einer Clear Takeoff, Lufthansa 17 Papa. Okay, so, uh, we have positive, uh, uh, one-way contact. Lotto to four contact, Wien Tower, uh, Christian Wien Radar, 134, das ist immer 675. Uh, contact up route from 1 to 134.675 route to the ball. Wien Tower Servus, to reach the 6th Hotel, uh, 9 miles south, established by LS16. To reach the 6th Hotel, Wien Tower, hello, the wind is calm, around the 16, clear to land. Clear to land, only 16, 6th Hotel. Okay, you can see this is the traffic behind us. Nobody. Okay. Sky Travel 101 Wind Tower. Uh, 
Skytro101, servus, radio check, my problem with my mic. Skytro101, wenn das kam, dann bitte in einer Klitte ecke. Cliff, take over runway 29er Skytro101, thank you very much, sir. So, okay. Lights on. Strobe and steady as well. Flight time. And rolling takeoff. It will be. And as well, transponder on TARA. And I will explain in flight why are we not using TARA from the ground. Luftensa 17 Papa. Contact Wien Radar 134, das ist mal 675. Okay, so we are ready. Contact Wien 134, 675, Luftensa 17 Papa. Perfect. Take off N1 Toga. Take off Trazi set. It's hard to me because uh, I'm flying in real life and we are two on board and do uh, everything. Uh, cabin. Handling agent, co-pilot, pilot flying, 18 knots was cross-checked, that was ok, V1 rotate, we can go up. Ok, positive rate, gear up, and now we have to be precise a little bit. So wait for 400, just put the LNAV and autopilot engaged, put it into command mode. I don't want to fly it manually, ok. That's perfect. So our engine out, uh, sorry, uh, acceleration will be 3600 via NADPA format procedure. Um, okay, why I'm not switching into the wind radar, I don't know why. Intel, good evening, uh, Lufthansa 7 Echo in sequence. Maybe Lufthansa 7 Echo in tower. Schönen guten Abend, number 3. Number 3, 7 Echo. Ah, he forget about me. In a tower, guten Abend, number 3 for X-ray holding short from 89 at Alpha 2 ready for the project. Or in this situation, put it into the very top speed and make 5,000. In tower, schönen guten Abend, wind kaum, run with 29, okay, take off. Yeah, just take off on the 29, minus 3 for X-ray. Put it like this one. Sky Travel 101, contact radar 134675. 134675, Sirus, Sky Travel 101. Left 010 and would like 10 miles final 16. Accelerate. 6 Alpha Tango, Roger, you can expect so. And for my clarification, you had high engine vibrations on your number one engine. Engine is now shut down. Do you require any special assistance on ground? It was the number two engine, and uh, that is all correct, and uh, uh, not requiring any special assistance at this time. Oh, they have the emergency. Perfect. Thank perfect. you, expect radar vector to ILS approach runway 16 for 10 mile final. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, anyway. I guess I, guess I have the flaps too, for takeoff. Oh, when I'm switching from... Phoenix Hello, Express, 3 November, to Tango, Wien, Radar, BMDG, I have different descent, setup. Uh, 9,000 feet, can H1021, information is Zulu. Roger, descending to 9,000, uh, QNH1021. Okay, sightseeing flight uh, with 5,000. <laughs> Wind Radar, servus, die Lufthansa 1238 at flight level 180 down to 170, information Zulu. Lufthansa 1238, Wind Radar, hallo, identified information, Zulu, emergency in progress, descent 10,000 feet, QNH 1021, hold in air, US published. Descending um, flight level 100, I guess was it was, and uh, emergency in progress uh, for Lufthansa 1238. Lufthansa 1238, hold in air, US published in 10,000 feet, QNH 1021. Holding at Nerdo at 10,000 feet, QNH 1021, Lufthansa 1238. 
VN approach American 1426 request an emergency. American 1426, climb 8,000 feet. Climbing 8,000 feet, uh, request reduce speed because I have um, main, main landing gear will well uh, overheat. I have to extend the landing gear. Austrian 6 Alpha Tango 10, left heading 330. Left 330, 6 Alpha Tango. Yeah, they're unable to. Mm, Close the gears or extend the gears. Anyway, when there are several uh, Sky Travel 101 maintaining 5000. Sky Travel 101, wind radar, hello, identify, climb 9000 feet initially. Okay, 9000 feet initially, uh, Sky Travel 107. Papa, contact wind 134, that's my 3 Okay, five, uh, guys, in this case, uh, they have emergency, uh, but uh, 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 it's a little bit embarrassing uh, when some somebody declare emergency uh, due to uh, uh, due to gear extension okay uh, if if you read the checklist and then he will declare that okay we are going to land uh, without uh, landing gear that's emergency that's okay that's for emergency but assistance but as you are going to holding and making a uh, checklist so uh, basically for the time being uh, just maximum VN approach code. American 1426 uh, 6 miles inbound Passat altitude 8000 feet ok all stations stand by do not call I call you emergencies in progress no expected approach times available at this moment American 1426 and Tapesa holding as published. So uh, this is the reason why I choose the Roger uh, American mean, 1426. Fuel, but the, uh, the more, bo more fuel on board. Uh, uh, Sun Express 3 November Tango descent at 9000 okay. feet. Can H1021 hold Pesa as published? Roger holding Pesa at 9000 feet. Sun Express 3 November Tango. Yeah, Ryan Radar, hello, doing good and average. Ryan is three foot X-ray with you at 5,000. Green Radar, so Austrian 6 Alpha Tango, turn left, heading 290. Left turn heading 290, can we start to descend, Austrian 6 Alpha Tango? Austrian 6 Alpha Tango, descend 4000 feet. Sending altitude 4000, Austrian 6 Alpha Tango. We are in a radar, hello Rana 734 X-ray, with you at 5000. Hello Rana 734 X-ray, being radar identified, camp 240. Cloud level 140, Ryan, that's what you for action. Negative 240. Confirm 40 or 140? 240. Okay, sorry, uh, correction. Cloud level 240, Ryan, that's what you for action. Sorry. So 6329 identify, Cloud level 140. Cloud level 140, 632. Sky travel 101, climb flight level 230. Climbing level 230, sky travel 101. American 1426, what are you doing? You were cleared into the near uh, PESA holding at 8000 feet. We said, wait, one second. And we said, wait, one. Two seconds, please. Six Alpha Tango, turn left heading two five zero. Left two five zero, six Alpha Tango. Great, good evening, Lufthansa Seven Echo, Medix from Charlie. Good evening, Lufthansa 7 Echo, uh, Medics from Charlie 5000. Hello, Lufthansa 7 Echo, wind radar identified. Austrian 6 Alpha Tango, left 190, descent 3000 feet, clear LS 16. 
Left one Anna zero descending three thousand clearless one six us gen six alpha tango. Then there's seven echo climb flight level two four zero. Cloud two four zero seven echo. Oh yeah guys, they've got an emergency and I don't know if it is with the land. 734 X-ray contact being radar 134 decimal 35, bye bye. 134 decimal 35, uh, so it's bye bye. If it is a problem with... Um, Sky uh, Travel 101, one at Unicom, bye bye. Uh, monitor Unicom, I uh, want to smile by Sky Travel 101 service and have, have good luck with emergency. Lufthansa 6329, contact wind, radar 134, decimal 35, servus. P4350, 6329, thank you for the service, bye. Wind, radar, servus. Okay, I've got the message. Uh, I'm just trying to find the, uh, my friend, uh, what was the emergency uh, right over there, because... I've got a message to my friend and he will call me uh, what emergency it was. forget about uh, I wanted to add a simulate uh, we can check uh, what is our cruising optimum is 380 uh, we've got 370 uh, uh, I will not explain uh, how to calculate or let's say uh, how to establish uh, the optimum flight level uh, right now it makes no sense so uh, today I have a fun Okay, so I will need to check the Dubrovnik if there is a, any air traffic controller. I guess it was Adria control right over there. Uh, it should be Euro control east, um, but okay. Nothing special in Dubrovnik, okay. Uh, so, uh, we have to check the weather in Dubrovnik. And then we will accommodate and... Uh, yeah, well, uh, okay, so, Dubrovnik, I will tell you. Selling visibility, okay, 16, 1, 0, 2, 0. One, one, two, zero, six knots, okay. Uh, it will be, I guess, uh, about a little bit of the crosswind component, so it will be okay. So, 1, zero, two, zero will be. That's perfect. Uh, we have plenty of time to do so. So what else to explain to you?
so as I said before mm, guys so there will be a big change uh, within um, within European safety agency operational procedures regarding to the fuel and uh, uh, things like uh, refueling with passengers on board and and so on and so on uh, there will be quite there are amendment amendments right now uh, but uh, it is a big mess uh, so the final documentation should be at 30 of October 2022 uh, so uh, till the end of the month so I will I will make a separate video uh, what will be the changes uh, because uh, new categories of the approach will be established okay so we will have two types category A and category B so and and later I will explain it to you uh, now it's it doesn't make sense now uh, So what can we do? Uh, well, well, um, conversion will be uh, which one? Speed seven eight. Okay, so we will wait for seven eight with the conversion. Okay. can ask I will make it like uh, that one that I hoped the guy from Wien uh, will not met, met of me uh, but anyway I will contact it why approach 134675 Oh, okay, this is the departure. Ok, 
Okay, so we are on conversion. No. We are not on conversion. Okay, so 7, 8, put it like this one. If you know guys uh, what you are doing, you can play it with uh, airplane, uh, whatever you like, okay? Whatever you like. Uh, but what is stupid uh, to make a vertical speed is with speed brake open, okay? So uh, that's basically <laughs> the worst condition, okay? Okay, uh, maybe I can. Um, okay, wait a second. I got a message. Okay guys, so emergency was due to high uh, vibration of the engine, so we can make a little bit discuss, okay? Uh, uh, what happened, okay? Uh, as I said on... Uh, I have uh, uploaded uh, approximately 50 videos uh, right now on my YouTube channel uh, how to deal with uh, several situations and several problems. But anyway, uh, I am always talking about the bowling over the U because if th something happens, it will automatically goes up. Okay, so if we have high engine and vibrations, uh, that means that uh, he will automatically pop up this low lower the U. Okay, this is called lower the U. This is upper the U. This is lower the U. And right now, uh, if you can see, you have vibration. Uh, if these vibrations are uh, exceeding the limitations, okay, uh, I don't know right now uh, what is the vibration limitation, but uh, mm, uh, it's because, uh, please don't blame me, but uh, I flew uh, 300, 400, uh, uh, 500, 700, 800, and uh, different options, and, and so on, and so on, and with different engine setting and uh, engine setup. So, uh, please don't blame me. But anyway, uh, if it is uh, if it is high vibration on one engine, uh, that means that uh, it will go, it will automatically pops up and go to reverse. With uh, it's it's all called video reverse. I don't know what is it. The guys who are native speakers of the English uh, should tell me uh, what it is. But it's uh, basically uh, it's 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 yellow yellow box. Uh, no yellow, a white box. Okay, right over here. And um, uh, if you which if you watch my video uh, with the how to use the QRH, uh, uh, be aware of the fact that. Uh, uh, you have to, but you have to know the memory items. Uh, but professional pilot should be at least smart enough to go throughout all the QRH and memorize all the QRH. Uh, because uh, he will be, he will. Uh, very uh, easily and uh, very quickly and in a short time realize uh, what happened with your airplane okay so um, uh, that's why uh, I know from this uh, for example from QRH but uh, I can check it with the QRH uh, maybe I will post it right here but um, uh, the proper procedure is uh, if your vibrations are too high, uh, just disconnect the autopilot. Okay, uh, we can make it without without the autopilot. All the all the all the flight. Okay, and uh, uh, as we uh, one thousand to level off, uh, as we disconnect the autopilot, uh, we are smoothly uh, decreasing the 
for the thrust lever uh, to ensure that the vibrations are within the limitation okay if there is no possibility to keep it uh, so there is something strange with the engine uh, even if you have engine parameters okay so that's that leads to uh, to shut down the engine so uh, that's why maybe uh, the guy who was on the frequency and he was ho he was holding he was reading the QRH uh, but uh, uh, yes you have to declare emergency when you have one engine in operative so maybe the vibration was too high that he was unable to comply with the limitation and he have to shut down the engine so he will go to page uh, uh, to chapter 7 and make uh, one engine in operative uh, landing okay uh, so uh, and and that's made a code okay so basically that, that's okay uh, I am apologizing to him in this case uh, because I I, mm, I somewhere in top of my head that it was uh, due to the uh, due to gear uh, problems so uh, yeah well maybe but okay so if we have I need to put it like this one and we can go without the auto thrust no problem <coughs> so I will check the QRH. Ah, sorry, I will not check the QRH because we, <laughs> we are <coughs> right now uh, <sighs> need to uh, perform uh, uh, the decent procedure and decent checklist into the Dubrovnik airport. <laughs> Forget about it, okay? Don't blame me, please. Uh, it's Nera, okay? And Okay, again, nothing working. So, once again. And now Nera. To run, uh, to run runway, it makes no sense. And Nera, uh, well, this snake doesn't make sense. Nera to Zulu via pill up, okay. So, um, what we can do uh departure I will uh we can put the Nera uh sorry uh we can put the ILS uh well, let's say uh Zulu on one uh, well, peel up and Nera to Zulu that's it basically okay. Uh in real life always check uh, scroll down the database one one guy is uh, listening and an, an another guy is uh, going down okay so we've got the message uh or FSS, please contact me one three five decimal three one three five decimal three okay okay one three five decimal three Renner 37 Whisky direct at Coop Alpha Tango Golf Uniform Papa. Ah, it's my friend. Jarko. Direct direct at Coop Renner 37 Whisky. Your control, hello again. Hotel Bravo to let Papa Kilo. Flight level 250. Climbing flight level 360. Anyway, we can make. Auto uh, Papa Kilo, hello, Euro East Radar contact, direct to Vecken, climb flight level 360. We are going to burn 700, no, some 8, 800 of kilograms. Ah, 63, basically. Direct Vecken, Victor Echo Kilo Echo November, climbing flight level flight 360. Auto Papa, Papa Kilo, and please recycle squawk 020. <coughs> Correction zero two one two. Zero two one two for hotel Papa Kilo. Erpolonia one two six contact Bratislava one three four the sum of four seven five and I apologize again. Sorry sir. Bye.
Uh, contact Bratislava 134475. Uh, Thank you for the TC and good night Air Polonia 26. Bye bye. All stations, Euro is closing now. Have a great uh, week and uh, see you. No, vidíš, Jarko, ani som sa k tebe nedostal, Skytrol 101, ahoj, pekný večer ti prajem. A to si sa skoro zrazil s Poloniou. <laughs> no, vidíš. <laughs> no, čo si prišiel, keď si sa tu nezdržal. Dobrá nás da počúťa. E, mal si tam oné, Tykas, Array? Absolutne to nemám nikoho na Tykase, nikoho. Celý čas. To je zaujímavé, lebo mi povedal, že mal Tykas, Array. A ono to vyzeralo, že ste neboli blízko, ale proste si bol v levele, ktorý ho prestupoval. Ja tu jestem jeszcze na częstotliwości, AirPolonia 126. E, podobno to jest problem z Microsofta, e, że on czasami nie daje sygnału. Hmm, co się da robić? A ono te tikasy to ci nie berą MCP, wiesz, oni ci berą uh, vertical speed, wiesz, jaki masz. On nie wie ten tikas, że ty, powiedzmy, to mu dasz, jednemu dasz klesa do o, 200 a druhému dasz stupa do 180 a pokiaľ majú obidva ve, veľký akože vertical rate, tak o, on to nevie, vieš. Takže... No, dobre, už to necháme tak. Majte pekný večer. Have a nice, nice weekend. Bye bye, Olu. Čau. Čau. Bye bye. It's ok. Do počúťa. We've got this one. It's ok. So we can go down. Uh, 20 nautical miles, so it's okay. Okay, this was my friend from uh, uh, from my home country, and uh, uh, just for your explanation, uh, what we were talking about, uh, we were talking about that uh, 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 there was uh, some traffic uh, which has uh, resolution advisory and I don't have, I don't see any proximity warning, resolution advisory and nothing. But uh, it could be an issue of flight simulator, but it can be as well uh, because as I, as I told before, uh, your TCAS on board uh, has no availability to know uh, what altitude you set. Okay, so um, that's why, uh, for example, uh, if you have a traffic uh, which is, uh, for example, uh, descending to flight level 280, okay, and uh, then uh, you have the traffic which is climbing to flight level 270 and both has the higher rate, okay, one has the higher rate of descent and one has the higher rate of uh, climb. Uh, the TCAS uh, automatically goes to RA. So um, uh, uh, this is uh, with the most probability uh, the, the issue of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, it's, it's uh, I guess it's, it was the main purpose. Okay, so uh, we'll make an I'm a little bit lazy and I'm a little bit too late, but anyway uh, we should have Dubrovnik preselected. I need to watch the speed. Eurocontrol Channel X36 Mike Kako back and cockpit. Okay, what do we have at the descent? Uh, 256? Ah, uh, I don't like it. Call sign again. Channel X36 Mike Echo. You don't have CL, I'm um, left hands at 2732, he's AFK, switch to 122, the symbol 8. Okay, okay oh, and we have Charlie Victor and DB 379er. Bye bye, my boot. er okay, that's okay, that we can pre select it. Yeah, basically that's it, and uh, all we need is, uh, uh, <coughs> now it's a little bit strange situation, because uh, in uh, new regulations, uh, this ILS is not uh, categorized as type 
uh, be approached because uh, now it's uh, from 30 October will be no cut will be uh, another categorized of the approach this is not category B approach in which should be the ILS uh, CAD1 uh, because we have slightly higher minimums or let's say yeah it should be category B okay because uh, it's uh, below 250 dh so that's okay uh, 7 to 6 so 7 to 6 Oh, come on. Seven to six, and as I said before, uh, what was the Kranich for Dubrovnik? Uh, it was, it was, it was, uh, one zero two zero, okay. One zero to zero transition level should be uh, altitude is ten thousand feet, so at least to have the layer uh, one to zero put it right over here one zero uh, two zero that's okay and we can make a decent request and we will see how it change uh, the wind of path okay. So basically, okay. So MCP set, auto break we have set, now setting we have set, FMC is uh, set, minimums set, and uh, recall airplane status. Okay, we are going uh, manual with the manual trust setting, no problem at all, no, not big deal, and. Uh, Yeah, holding fuel available maybe over overhead um, overhead nera point forty minutes Pfft. perfect no problem problem we are below the structural limit weight it's okay now we can a little bit closing the thrust levers. And uh, we will see later on. Okay, so I will put this back. Well, now we have a pleasant flight. And I can make for you, for example, high engine vibrations. We can check it right now without any problem with the technical book. When I am flying in real life, uh, I am always uh, taking with me uh, technical books, uh, Jeppesen Atlas, and um, and uh, let's say some. Uh, some calculations for example uh, for vertical speed uh, for circling calculations distance altitude tools and so on uh, it's uh, and, cro and calculation from crossing component uh, because in real life uh, you are categorized uh, into captain A captain B copilot A and copilot B and uh, in real life you don't mix uh, these uh, two positions okay so if it is if it is flying uh, copilot B uh, he shouldn't fly with uh, captain B okay uh, he need to fly with captain A and if there is captain A he can fly with copilot B if it is copilot A uh, he can fly with the captain B because A it's experience B is less less experience so uh, the two crew members which are 
are no experience enough shouldn't fly together okay so just a simple explanation okay I don't know where to find it why a high vibration mm -hmm. hot start hydraulics high airflow Mm, ta -ta. Oh, here you can't find it. No, it's only vibration levels uh, on page one sixty four. Okay, so close the thrust levers. You are going down. So high vibrations. Okay, when it is off, it is blue. Basically, it's written there that it's up to four units. Okay. So this is this is the technical book, but uh, something else. It's within QRH, so I can check it with the QRH as well. High vibrations, and I am always watching somewhere else, uh, but not flying. Uh -huh. Okay, so what the QRH says. Uh, both of these occur. The vibration level is more than 4 units. Yes, that was written in the book. In icing conditions, engine starts switched flight thrust reduced to 45% and 1 if not in icing condition what to do auto throttle disengage thrust lever retard maintain vibration below 4 units if the vibration does not decrease when the thrust lever is retarded check other engine indications if other engine indications are normal, no further action is needed. So that means, okay, guys, uh, that uh, oh, sorry, I forget to put the flying. Okay, so uh, that basically means uh, that uh, uh, if all other engine indications are okay but you have high vibrations uh, you don't need to shut down the engine okay uh, just return the thrust lever and uh, leave it like it is and uh, and yeah uh, it's for the emergency code okay because you don't have the engine it's working but uh, it's producing no thrust so basically that's it that's okay that's perfect Okay, so the throttle off is not big deal. Uh, as you can see, the wind condition wasn't so precise. A little bit adjust the thrust setting uh, out of the idle up to 40%, 44, 45. We'll catch the glide slope with any f any problem. <laughs> what we can do?
just it your show awareness okay that's it When you have auto, tr auto trust in operative, basically it's uh, it's the malfunction or let's say it's the failure, uh, which is uh, which is absolutely you can handle it with absolutely no problem, no problem. So uh, I guess one to zero is flight level, and then we can go. Uh, uh, that's okay. Uh, there is one tricky situation. I will make a video about it uh, regarding to standard instrument arrivals uh, because there are some things uh, 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 which is. Uh, which is good to know and I'm yeah I know in which airport it, it is okay and how to deal with this situation Just quick scan flow. Everything is okay. There is the cabin. Uh, we have plenty of track miles. Okay, in front of us. So that's basically no problem. <laughs> Okay, and just um, uh, it's a pity that I'm not just uh, now flying on uh, PMDG because uh, uh, yeah, but it has the cabin modeled right over here, but I don't know how to get it uh, from this position. And uh, if you if you look at the floor, uh, this is the photo illumined uh, guidance for emergency exit. According to the EASA operational procedures, uh, we have to have uh, just one. That's why Ryanair j have just one, uh, because uh, in order to have a lower uh, payment uh, for the airplane, okay, uh, it's absolutely un. Mm. Okay, I'm not talking about that situation uh, with O'Leary, uh, but. Uh, um, uh, while uh, the cabin crew is prepared for the landing and we've got the message the cabin and galley sec secured, uh, we are good to land. If we do not have this message, uh, we have to make a go around, okay? You, you, are, you, are not able to, you, you are not allowed to land, okay? So, uh, and then uh, they will uh, shut down all the all the lighting and all the illuminescence lighting uh, will be just uh, just shining it's because uh, if something happens during landing uh, you have emergency and it should be charged uh, it has charge limitations okay so uh, that's something uh, which I would like to point out anyway okay so close the thrust levers we are a little bit, little bit high anyway no problem, no big deal. Believe me, if you know how to do 
Oh, this airplane uh, can go down like hell. I've got a question from my friend. What is Que Que F uh, Quebec Foxtrot uniform shortcut? We are approaching. Uh, oh, we can go to 5000 or about, so we can easily switch to 5000 and make it a standard and make it a uh, project list. Uh, if, if you saw my video, uh, loss of communication procedure. Um, uh, uh, that was uh, I unintentionally put the wrong Q and H, and uh, you can nicely see uh, what happens. Okay, if you unintentionally put the wrong Q and H somewhere, so uh, that's basically uh, Q and H is very important um, if you have big differences, uh, because if you have light differences, it's not uh, not not big deal. Uh, because um, one hectopascal it's 30 feet okay so basically no deal but if you put QNH 1019R instead of 1029R as you can see on my previous videos uh, so th there should be a problem okay <laughs> It's not a big deal uh, if you are okay with the standard instrument arrival and you are performing uh, the precision category approach. Uh, that means that it's physically related to glide slope and localizer antenna. Okay, so uh, basically you are good on profile, uh, but with wrong altitude. But uh, with no precision approach, uh, when you need to. Uh, Descent, uh, let's say, uh, so called manually, okay, or uh, nowadays it's called, uh, or it will be called 2D approaches, okay, and 3D approaches will be APV bar approaches. Uh, so, in this case, uh, you are in big trouble, okay. So, we have uh, final 100, so 240, and put the lights on.
so if the guy from the Vienna uh, because uh, I have a really problem with audio codex uh, it uh, it took me a uh, few days uh, to set up xplain 12 uh, in order to run the xpilot on uh, both platforms and with this audio codex I have problem that uh, somebody is talking too loud and somebody is uh, is speaking uh, let's say too high and this makes me a problem so I was not fully aware of the situation in Vienna so I will apologize uh, uh, to the guy with the vibration if he have uh, if he has a vibration really high and really very high so uh, basically uh, and all engine instruments were okay so he don't need to shut down the engines and he, he really don't need to shut down the engine because I was talking to the guy from Vienna uh, and uh, via V pilot message and uh, mm, yeah it's engine is working but uh, it's uh, mm. at least pen, pen code okay mm. I will declare the pen code, okay? Because if if I am in serious trouble with high engine vibrations, uh, okay, so <laughs> I will adjust trust on the on the work on the engine which has high vibrations without any problems, okay? If I am in serious trouble, so in this case, uh, if you don't shut down the engine uh, but uh, keep it live. Uh, it's 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 not an emergency. It's pen code, okay. So we have one zero two zero beautiful Adriatic Sea below. Sending to five thousand, and uh, what next? Uh, okay, uh, we can go from pill up to four thousand. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, we did a search in real life operations. Uh, in how many miles you can catch the localizer antenna? Okay, so localizer. Uh, it's twenty four exactly. It's twenty four. So, if I put 24, uh, but it's flight simulator, okay, uh, we, we cannot compare it with uh, with the real airplane, okay. If I put 24, so now we can catch the, uh, the localizer, okay. As you can see, okay, we've got it, we've got it, okay, so that's perfect. And I forget uh, one four six plus five one five one. Okay. Yeah, I call this video uh, a real ops, but uh, I behave like uh, I'm flying in Cessna. <laughs> You can see the glide slope is alive, so uh, it's a good idea to start this diesel ready airplane, okay? And as you can see, we have all the way down thrust on the idle, okay? I think that uh, it was one video uh, I was explaining the uh, idle descent now in Dubrovnik. Mm, I can make another video for uh, another approach to make how to deal with idle descent. Uh, the idle descent is basically, uh, or let's let's uh, let's uh, talk like this one. Uh, if you are performing the idle descent, uh, it, the best solution is to make it via level change, and because you can play with speed. Okay, I am high, so about the profile. So I will put the higher speed. 
I'm low on the profile, I put the lower speed, ok? And as you can see we are on minimum clean speed, ok? We are going down, so we can put flaps 1, ok? And um, go for flaps 1. Not any problems. And we will see, uh, we can press the approach mode, mm, just check it uh, right here, uh, what is the means the approach altitude and please Please, uh, when you're flying, always read your uh, misapproach procedure. It's very important to do so. Uh, and Dubrovnik is 5000 and something, okay? So that's another my mistake. Anyway, as you can see, their plan is okay. So I can put non standard flaps 2. I can go down with the speed a little bit and Jesus Christ what was the 4000 4000 okay so is a project you said as well that's okay and you'll see uh, with the speed okay if the airplane is accelerating decelerating and uh, then you have the choice uh, what to make okay so now I can see the airplane is keeping 190 but uh, we are close to the airport so I'll put the flaps 5 Okay, uh, so it flips 5, uh, I can go down, uh, for example, uh, with uh, 170, okay? And we can put uh, 4 nautical miles, uh, this is 160. And as you can see, the airplane won't decelerate. It's a little bit lazy, so uh, it should be two problems only tailwind component or heavy airplane ok so non-standard flaps 10 boom and we will see what he will do and he's still lazy he's still lazy to go down with ah uh, uh, and this situation when you put uh, flaps 15 you have to put the gear down and I don't like it much uh, but what we can do okay Okay, and now you can press PA cabin okay, crew landing position, and that's it. And we can read the checklist and holding on flaps with the 15. Okay, and we can go down to flaps 15. Uh, we are still in the idle descent, but uh, as I can see the trend vector, I need to adjust the thrust a little bit. Okay, and now is the time uh, for final configuration. So the pilot flying should have the approach and pilot monitoring should the progress bridge number 2 in order to let the pilot flying know that uh, hey, you have tailwind, you have headwind, you have crosswind and so on ok so flaps 25 uh, and we can go directly because we are on low weight uh, to flaps 30 so 151 ok so 151 ok and that's it basically and now we can adjust the thrust a little bit uh, we can make a checklist all the way down and at least uh, we have to uh, decouple the autopilot uh, 50 feet below the minimum so ah. ok so autopilot disengaged go a little bit down I adjust my joy joystick configuration so <laughs> we will see how we will crash ok down so uh, we don't use the thrust levers uh, just uh, to 
put the trust drivers uh, on the inner lock position uh, speed brake is up auto brake, these are manual braking, ok now it's auto brake disarm ok, so closing the trust levers leaving the active runway that's it that's it guys Now, taxi routing confirmed, for example, so we can make the after landing procedure with no problems. And what we can do, uh, we are going uh, to use the GPU instead of the APU. Uh, another uh, restriction will be, or let's say, uh, another additional fuel will be done uh, by EASA Ops, uh, which will be valid right now, and it will encounter with uh, APU usable on board, okay? So, just for your information. Okay, it should be five percent uh, with the trim setting. So you can see how easily you can handle with uh, without the auto trust. It's no problem at all. Okay, which stand we will pick up? This is Lima. Stand number two. Ah, this is the marsh. Here is the marshal around stand number four. So a little bit use the brakes. And as we are turning to the stand, uh, we should uh, uh, we should keep the all the lights uh, in this side off. So turn off and taxi light should be off while entering the stand with the marshaler. Uh, but I don't see nothing, so basically I will keep the taxi light on in order to see something. It's just the flight simulator, okay, it's not real life. In real life it should be off. And uh, because uh, he's, he has the flashing lights, okay, so that's, that's why we are turning it off. So, uh, the brakes will be a little bit hot because uh, I press the brake pedals and aggressively braking uh, with the last uh, last turn in order not to go and make a backtrack. I guess it make a backtrack uh, here. Airport. No. Uh, yeah, but I will locate via echo. Uh, so. Uh, if you look at here, so you can see, uh, in this case, when we are making uh, the turnaround, uh, we have to wait. Um, you have to qu check the QRH, and there is depicted uh, uh, what will be your brake energy time and uh, uh, how long you have to wait in order to make a turnaround. Uh, uh, it has. Uh, two uh two reasons uh one reason is the braking availability while taxi and uh another reason is uh during rejected takeoff uh these brakes on the right uh will be unusable okay so we switch off uh the engine number two and I said the chokes release the parking parking brakes why it is not going? Okay, now it's going. 
request the GPU put it like here and if you see the voltage and everything is ok light is shining put it like this one and shut down ok turn on the fly directors put it back to 100 in order to mess to not mess up uh, once you are making the turnaround uh, stop the block time release the passengers ok and uh, I forget to put it uh, into the steady mode ok anti collision lights off and this is ok basically we don't have the APU uh, that's fine uh, and transponder mode back to standby and 2000 ok so so that's it jumps it back ok and now we can uh, request uh, request package loaders ok and request stairs request ba bus target 0 0 and 0 and that's it shut down checklist please I'm talking to my copilot right now ok some message Ok, so everything is fine and uh, guys uh, if you would like to go back switch the IRS's back and make the procedure again for walk around and everything set up for the next flight so uh, well uh, <coughs> I hope you like this unusual video but anyway it was ok <laughs> I hope you enjoy it and uh, once the new procedures are applied uh, I will advise to you that, uh, that what's going on and uh, how the fuel calculations uh, are different ok so thank you very much for watching and have a nice flight bye bye